Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial for this makeup look featuring all blush tones, which are some of my favorite kinds of colors to work with. And I did partner with Maybelline New York to bring you this video, so don't forget to head on over to their YouTube channel and subscribe for more makeup tips and tricks. So why don't we get started with this look? I always try to squeeze in a quick dance break before I start my makeup. So beginning with the Blushed Nudes palette by Maybelline, I'm going to start off with this light creamy highlight color in the upper left hand corner. And I'm applying this with a fluffy crease brush just for a bit of a softer application. And I'm sweeping that across my brow bone and then I'm going to go back in and apply a little bit more of that color with a shader brush. And I'm applying that under the highest part of my arch for a bit more lift. Then I'm going to dip a round fluffy crease brush into this dusty beige color and I'm using that as my transition and I want to apply this in a rounded shape which is why I chose a rounded brush to apply it and I'm sweeping it in circular motions which is going to help with that eyeshadow shape as well. And as I gradually build up that color, I'm focusing my brush more and more on the crease line so the color gets a bit deeper there as I go. And then after that, I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush and dip it into this rosy golden champagne color and start applying that all over my lid. And I'm using a brush that's made for a cream product because when you use it with a powder, it's going to give you even more color impact and just a ton of color payoff. So I'm just evenly applying that shade all across my lid. Then I'm going to take a fluffier crease brush and swirl it into this cranberry color. And I'm basically applying that to the entire outer half of my lid. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to encourage you you guys to come up with your own looks using the blushed nudes trend from Maybelline and share with the hashtag blushed nudes so that I can see what you come up with. Then I'm going to switch up colors a little bit so I'm going to take this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called Red Earth and I want that pretty reddish brown tone to come through but I'm going to apply this very lightly because I don't want the look to get too dark. So you can see I'm using a very fluffy brush and just lightly tapping that on. I also like to do these little sweepy, swirly, circular motions to kind of blend the color as I'm applying it. Then after I go over everything one more time and blend it out again with a clean brush, it's time to get rid of these dark circles. So I'm starting off with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment Concealer. So this is the brightening shade. You can see it's like a pink tone and it just kind of instantly cancels out my dark circles kind of magically honestly. I love this stuff so much. Then I'm going to take the Master Conceal in Fair and Light Medium mixed together and apply that under my eyes and onto my cupid's bow. And here I'm blending the concealer with a synthetic concealer brush to get a very airbrushed flawless finish and it's also the perfect base for eyeshadows on the lower lash line. So here I'm using Beauty Marked also by Anastasia. So I'm applying that all along my lower lash line with a short shader brush and I'm really trying to round out my eye here and what I usually do is I'll trace a line and then I'll kind of blend it out with the same brush and then I'll trace another line and I'll blend it out and then I'll go back with a big crease brush again and that same red earth color and just kind of go over the lower lash line once again to soften it. Then I wanted to add a little something extra, so I reached for this MAC Press Pigment in the color Light Touch, which is a gorgeous, shimmery, peachy pink shade, and I'm layering that onto my lid in as even of a layer as I can do. Did that make sense? As even a layer as possible. And you can even apply this wet if you want that sparkle to really come through. And then it's back to that same highlight color from before for the inner corners and I really layer on my inner corner highlight because I love for my eyes to look as big and bright and awake as possible and then I'm applying the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara which the tube kind of matches the makeup that we're doing today and I'm applying that to prep my eyelashes for falsies. And of course I snapped one of my acrylic nails right off while I was trying to open 
my box of false lashes. Who knew applying falsies could be so dangerous? But I went with my House of Lashes Bambi false lashes. They're some of my favorites and perfect for this look. And then I want to take my Brow Drama Brow Mascara. This is a translucent formula and sweep it across my eyebrows because sometimes as I blend my eyeshadows, I can kind of mess up my brows and this will set them and keep them in place. And then my background was kind of a fail, as you can see, but I'm taking this Master Bronze Bronzing Powder, and this is the color Vacation Bronze, and I'm applying that with a paddle brush, and I just always start, for some reason, on the right side, on the right cheek, and I just like to begin warming up my skin tone and sculpting out my face, and then I'll move on to my forehead and other areas. This is me getting completely distracted by cat memes every single day. Then I'm going to take Peaches Blush by MAC and this is just kind of my perfect go-to, goes with anything blush color and I just think it gives this gorgeous lit from within warm glow to the cheeks. And it's almost impossible for me to do my makeup without applying at least a little bit of a highlighter or a lot of highlighter to my cheekbones. And this is my favorite one from the Balm. It's called Mary Luminizer and it's a light golden champagne color. And sometimes I do like to use a fluffier brush like this one because it kind of hugs your cheekbones and gives you more of that diffused glow. It never ceases to amaze me how the tiniest bit of highlighter can totally transform your entire complexion. And then I'm going to add a bit more to my Cupid's bow and I'm gonna take this lip pencil by MAC called Strip Down. So this is a brownish, nudish beige color and I'm filling in my lips with that and then adding this color sensational lipstick in blushing beige on top and then I wanted to add a bit more pink so I thought this lipstick in ravishing rose would do the trick and then I applied my favorite MAC lip glass in Oyster Girl for a pretty translucent pink shine. That is the completed look so I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching and I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you.